We have $58,000 in the bank, and it is currently October in year number four. So far, we have yet to earn a billion dollars. But we are working on that as we speak, harvesting our soybean fields that we had planted. I don't know how much this is going to get us, but I'm hoping that we get a decent enough amount that come next June, which is the high time to sell this crop, we'll be able to potentially buy a tractor. And I think the odds might be in our favor. We have $58,000 right now and if we skip through winter all the way to planting season the next task that we'll have which is before we sell our crop unfortunately but even still you know we'll speed through that time a little bit and i think we might have enough for a tractor so today is looking like hopefully hopefully the day that we solved that major issue we did cause a little bit of an issue and uh that's that we sold our combine i, w I don't know if it was the best decision now that I see what these combines cost to lease. But also, we only use it once a year, so if anything, I'm not I'm not that mad about it, really. Mainly my focus is to get us a tractor so we're not spending as much money on this farm, so we can then utilize that money to get some more solar panels and other things that are going to make us more passive income throughout the whole year. The nice thing is, is it's a snowball effect, and the more that we accumulate these passive income deals, the faster we can uh, get more of them and make even more money. So just right here in the beginning, it's a really hard initial grind to get enough equipment to be able to do what we need to do. We can always be spending more money on more land and keep harvesting more and more and more, and we probably will continue to do that. But right now, it's proving to be quite a struggle to handle and pay off what we have invested so far. You know what? We have 58%, 60% in here. While we're harvesting, I want to go ahead and check, see if there's anything, nothing I want to buy. I was hoping maybe a tractor, but nope. We are out of luck there. And look, there's that little stretch down the middle where I said, well, I'm not going to be able to reach it with the sprayer. <laughs> I think we're definitely getting a good yield off these soybeans, though. We've got about 3,500 liters. This combine holds 4,900, so pretty much full here. And we've got a lot more to go. I mean, we've got this whole half of a field. And then we're waiting on those two fields right up there, which will be done really soon. Okay, we're getting into the weed section here. There's a lot of, uh, you know, like kind of Queen Anne's lace looking stuff out here. And I don't know. I don't know what else. Just some various weeds that we don't want. So this is going to hurt us a little bit. We're going to get a little lower yield. We're probably going to get a little foreign material into the tank back here. But overall, I'm not too concerned about it. We sprayed the far majority of this field, so for the most part, it should be in pretty good condition. By the way, if you've been playing along trying to earn a billion dollars in Farming Simulator, I want to see your progress. Make sure you tag me on TikTok and on YouTube. Any videos that you post trying to earn a billion dollars, and I look forward to seeing what you guys are doing. And let me know what strats you're using on your saves in the comments down below. And if you have any ideas on how we can earn a billion dollars, then make sure you comment them down below. I know we've had some great ideas given. One was to get silage bales, and I do think that is a good idea. I bought a baler for a really good price last episode, and we still have to go pick it up. That's right. We're going to also need to get a mower, and we don't need a rake because grass is what we're going to use. I think we mainly just need a mower. And also grass to mow, but, you know, that's a whole nother story. <laughs> okay, we've got a full tank. I accidentally just drove through the last little bit of our crop there, but we still got more in that field. It'll be fine. Now, I don't have a silo here. Somebody did comment and let me know that I can store my crop in the elevators where we sell for the train for free, which is really cool that I didn't, I didn't know that it didn't charge you for storage, but we do have our trailer right in there that we can use, and that's probably what we're going to do. Problem is, I don't, I don't, I have a tractor and I need to pull my trailer out of the barn. You think I, I might be able to get that with my combine? Hold on a minute. When you leave stuff in the way and you don't put it away and then it becomes a problem. This is why you put things away, Jake, because then you get rid of a tractor and you don't have any way to move it. Okay, we have two options. We could try to just dump right in there, but first I want to try our other option, which is to see if we can hook up to it and pull it out of here with the combine. Okay. So that's, that's gonna, yeah, that's, uh, that, that's saying no. What if I drop my header and just give this thing it a good little yoink right on through? Look, hey, I just pushed it on out. That'll do, donkey. Look at that. 
Who needs a tractor when you can just push her on out of the barn, boys? Now we just sneak on through the barn again, pick up our header, and we continue as if nothing ever happened. What do you guys think of my fancy silo? I know, I know. Mobile. That's uh, eat your heart out, all you people spending millions on stationary silos. Dommies. Look at mine. I even named it after a beloved Christmas character. Okay, so we got that fully unloaded into the trailer. Soybean harvest is going pretty well so far. Let's get back there, get to rolling. 130, rolling up on the clock here. $62,000 in the bank. I've got time moving forward about 60 times speed just because uh, we don't have too much to go left in this field. And our next fields are not quite ready, but they will be ready in November. So we just got to skip through until the next month, which will not take very long at all. Yeah, we definitely need to get a tractor that has some narrow tires so we can come back out here and spray and not damage stuff. The other alternative would be to try and take care of these things before the crop gets to that stage. But, you know, can't always do that. So better just have the tires. But it still harvests up just fine. I mean, we're getting crop out of it. And we got through that small weed section. We're now into the good yield again. See how many more bushels we're able to get out of this last piece. Oh, sorry, neighbor. I sprayed some stuff onto your field. But in my defense, I also fertilized your field earlier this year free of charge. So watch what you complain about. That's all I'm saying, Mr. Neighbor. I need to buy that field. It's just, it's the perfect spot right there. I can take out that little grass strip and we just continue this one big field. I don't know. Right now I need to get a tractor though. Main priorities, Jake. Stick on your priorities, son. All right, doing the last stretch here. Not really going to get much from this. I mean, there's a trim line again but we've got just about 1200 liters out of that last piece that we hit here so not too upset about it that is a good yield on this piece hopefully we're gonna get a good price on our soybeans but we'll see how that goes here in just a little bit let's run up to the farm dump this into the bins and we'll speed through until November to get the next fields harvested. 6,100 liters of soybeans in our trailer. It's about 9 p.m. We're going to roll through the night. I will see you all here in the morning. Nothing like your alarm clock going off at 8 in the morning. Oh, my can alarm clock at 8 a.m. School bell goes off. Let's get the combine started and get right to work. Got our coffee in hand. $63,000 in the bank. November day. Looking beautiful out. There's great demand at the Goldcrest Valley. And I want to see about what crop. Not ours. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> oh, should I also check? Oh, there's a tratter. There's a tratter. There's a tratter. Is it going to be big enough? Let's see. $70,000. Dang it. Not quite big enough. 135 horsepower. How big do I need? This takes 180 horsepower. Yep, that's a big difference. You are 55. Why are you 70? Why do, why do you end up 70? Oh, because it got some... Wait, wait. They throwing some add-ons on it? No. Take your exclusive interior, $15,000 out of here. What's wrong with it? I don't want the front weight thingy. That I don't want, no. No. It's expensive. I ain't got the money, honey. Now we're at the price. Okay. So let's see what, what what's the engine going up. Oh, oh, oh. $78,000. We can almost do that. We could almost do that. Also, that sprayer is not... No, no. Not getting the sprayer. Okay, here's what we're doing. We're going to harvest some crop. I'm going to think about our options here. Because to get around the same horsepower, we do had we had to have otherwise spend around 90... A guaranteed above $95,000. So we are getting a little bit of a deal. I'm a little worried that that tractor might not be physically large enough. But I think it'll probably handle it'll at least get us started and we won't have to pay a lease do i sell this crop early just to be able to afford that now probably not because i could get a different sale later maybe but if i can find a way to afford that now 78 oh, it was like 79 i need 80 grand i need like 80 grand huh i'm gonna do some thinking while we do some harvesting and meanwhile i need you to do some liking and subscribing okay so make sure you go get that taken care of. <laughs> I'm proud of what we've achieved so far, though it's taken us four years to get this far and we're, 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 we're nowhere on our goal, okay? It's gonna take us like 60 years at this rate or more, but I'm bound to determine we'll make a billion dollars. I'm gonna be the first person to earn a billion dollars in farm sim, or maybe you will. It, it depends who beats me, I guess. <laughs> Either way, we're gonna have fun along the journey, okay? I still haven't been able to afford a house 
So that's fun. Been sleeping in my combine, taking a nap on my buddy seat for a pillow. I would sit in it, but you know how it is. I don't own a Kubota tractor, and so I'm not allowed to sit in any passenger seats when I don't own a Kubota tractor. I'm just cranking through this field as efficiently as I can. Been thinking about our situation. I'm still not 100% certain what to do. I'm going to let time run through a little bit here since we don't need, you know, to sit here on times five time. And maybe through to the day, we can earn enough money to be able to afford that. Have I ever told you guys how much I love that red barn? It just looks so nice. I just love looking at it. Whenever we have expendable money, I'm excited to see this farm develop into something a little bit more than two sheds, a greenhouse, and a crazy guy in his... I, in, I don't even know how to say that brand name. <laughs> All right, first field done. Still got one more to go through today. 10.30 is the time. And we have 65,000 in the bank. Really haven't gained much. This is gonna start raining on us. Hold on, I'll slow time back down because I need to see how long this rain is about to last today. 11 o'clock all the way until four o'clock? Oh my gosh, it'd be five o'clock before it's sunny out again. That'll probably be, we I mean, it needs to dry off really, but I, maybe I, uh, okay. I'm gonna finish this harvest real quick and then we're gonna speed through time and hopefully then buy a tractor. But as soon as we have this field all harvested, we're going to get next season's crops planted away. And I think we are gonna do soybean on soybean. Not a crop rotation, but we're not using precision farming, so it really shouldn't matter. Psst. Have I told you guys about a major uh, thorn in my behind? And it's actually a really big problem for our goal. You see, we have a $200,000 loan that the game started us out with. I didn't take that loan, but it started us with a $200,000 loan. And we did spend the money when buying this property and all of our first equipment. Now, I'm not allowed to take another loan. I'm just, I'm barring myself from doing that, even though it would be a fantastic way to help. A huge way to help. I want to see if we can do it without using that that service. And if you guys want to see me play farm sim without that restriction and be able to borrow money and kind of invest it appropriately, then let me know. But for this series, we're going to continue how we are. And then if you want to see a different one, we'll change it up. But yeah, we do need to get rid of that $200,000 loan because we are getting charged $666. Yikes, bad number. Every single month in loan interest. And that doesn't even make our loan go down. That's just the interest. So it's very steep, it's very painful, and I can't afford it. I also don't have $200,000 to give the bank. So we'll cross that bridge when we get there. <laughs> know what bridge we're about to cross? Full tank, that's what. I thought we were gonna get all of this harvested, but it looks like we're gonna be just a little bit short. Not a bad problem to have. That just means we've been having a good yield. We're pretty much full. So I'm going to run over here and dump into our makeshift silo. Then we've got two and a half more passes of soybeans here to harvest. And we'll be on to planting season. We just broke 10,000 liters of soybeans. That is huge. Now I know in the past, canola, I think we were probably getting a good, I want to say 13,000 liters I, well, that's, that's not, that sounds right i want to say probably around thirteen thousand liters now we still have a little bit more to harvest here i would estimate this is no more than another thousand liters so we are actually going to be less on yield with our canola or with our soybeans than we were with canola but we were getting like let's say anywhere from six to seven hundred dollars maybe eight hundred at the tops for our canola whereas we're going to be getting like 12, maybe 1300 tops for our soybeans. And that should more than make up the difference. I think we'll be all right. And like I said, there's gonna be two and a half. And it absolutely is two and a half. <laughs> how, how do I only got $65,000 still? Come on, somebody make me money. All right, we have completed harvest. 739 liters is what we had in here. Sub a thousand. I had a feeling a grand was gonna be a little high, but I was being hopeful. Really in my head, I was thinking 800 something. So pretty close, I was still off. Either way, we're gonna get this dumped into our trailer. Push, push the trailer back under storage. I was gonna say pull, but we can't. Oh, well, there's the rain, wasn't that far off. Stop raining on my soybeans. I don't appreciate it. You know, that, that thing has a tarp. If only I could connect a tractor to it to put the tarp up. Aye, aye, aye. The situations I find myself in sometimes. A little bit further. A little bit further. Don't. Come on, the jack got stuck. Are you being for reals? Come on, buddy. 
Come on. There you go. That's good. That'll that'll do. They're not going to get rained on now. I'm still not able to buy What if I buy it and then do an engine upgrade later? Wait. Uh, answers? Fellas, what if we buy it and then upgrade the engine later? Big brain, boys. Big brain. Get rid of the exclusive. Get rid of the front thingy. Okay, I actually leave a little bit of weight. I feel like that'll be useful. 56.5, 56.6, essentially. I'm happy with that. It's low on power for everything we have, but we have it and we can maybe upgrade the engine later. I can get it to at least run the baler. We'll upgrade the engine later. I'm going to buy it. I'm going to buy it. Maybe I'll regret this, but eh, I just don't want to lease anything anymore. We're going to try it. Spend money. We now have $9,000. Oh boy. Well, would you look at that? It's a beautiful spring day, 922 in the morning. We have $22,000. Our fields have sprung a wide variety of weeds and, uh, we're gonna have to take care of those before we get planting here. We did buy this tractor at the end of the winter. It was on sale. And uh, now we actually need to upgrade the engine because it's not big enough to do any of the work we need to do. <laughs> so allow me to go spend this $22,000 we have on upgrading this engine to make it work for our purposes. We also are gonna have to, well, I don't know what to do about these. Those are some pretty big weeds. I'm gonna have to cultivate today. Good news about this little tractor is it rolls down the field at or down the road at 33 miles per hour look at this little guy it just straight boogies dude look at it. imagine you're you're on the sidewalk right imagine you're like right here okay he's gone you know what i mean all right let's see if these guys have what oh my goodness a corn header so cheap so cheap Ooh la la I don't need it, though, especially when I'm about to spend more money than I probably have. Pull on in here to the service bay and see what these boys are going to quote me. They say it's going to take $22,500 to get this thing up to 180 horsepower. I have $22,689. So that means if I do this, I will have a tractor powerful enough forever from now on. I just won't have the money I need to lease a piece of equipment to cultivate the fields that I need to cultivate. But I could spray those fields. I could spray those fields. It might be what we have to do. I need the tractor to be big enough. I think I'm going to go with it. 180 horsepower. 22.5 is what it'll cost. What about the wheels? The wheels throw it over budget. 23.5. I, I can't do it. I can't do narrow tires. We'll get $1,000 later and throw the tires on. Okay. I did it. I have $189. I have $189. <gasps> oh my gosh. That hurt. That hurt. $189. I couldn't sneeze. If I get a, if I get a speeding ticket in my tractor, we are screwed, my friends. Turn on them four ways and the, and the lights. We need them all. Am I... Am I gaining on you back there? Wait a minute. Am I actually faster? Are we going? Oh, we're going about the same speed, ain't we? For a second, I thought I was gaining on the dude behind me, and I was like, there's no way, dude. I didn't even try renting a cultivator. Okay. I have $189. We're, we're not renting a cultivator. <laughs> but we own a tractor. It might have 22.8 hours on it, but we own a tractor. No more lease. No more spending probably a good ten thousand dollars a year or more on a tractor no more than that we might have been spending upwards of like eighteen thousand dollars a year on a tractor do you guys realize that that's this is gonna help out a lot <laughs> first thing i want to do we'll just check our water make sure that this is good to go with the greenhouse it's not that that's the first thing i want to do it's like one of the few things i can do we have spray but i don't have a sprayer i'm gonna need to get a sprayer I've got a fertilizer spreader, and I've got a planter, and I've got a baler. But all of our fields have a lot of weeds, and I don't know what to do about that. I do not have enough money. Uh, well, I figured that much. Well, it won't even tell me how much it costs. If I can get, like, I think $1,300, we can afford this. I bet you, I bet you. We're doing fine. It's only March. We can't plant until April and May. I was just trying to get the fields ready, but we still have time. We've got April to get fields ready. We can plant all in May. I'd actually kind of prefer to do that, even if that's how we do it. So in fact, I'm just going to speed up time a bit more here. We're going to let this roll through and uh, we're just going to do our field prep next month and we'll plant in May. I'm fine with that. So it's about three o'clock. We've got $4,000 in the bank and I should be able to see what a cultivator would cost to lease yeah, 12, uh, 1249. That's about what I thought. Okay, hold on. Slow time back down, Jimmy Jimmy. You in a hurry and you ain't gotta be. 
Boy, now that I got a little bit of money and I can go out here and rip up these fields and get them ready to plant, I'm going to do that now. Because like I said, I'd like to plant in April. So let's run down to the store and pick ourselves up a leased cultivator. I much more prefer leasing those implements for the times I need them than leasing my tractor. The fact that we have bought a tractor today is a major victory. It only took us five years but it's a major victory. Hello, it is me, man who is commonly referred to as Pickle. I'm here to pick this up, uh, this cultivator. The downside to this tractor is it is, it is small. It is physically very small, and that does concern me in many ways. Like, this cultivator is a little bit too big. My planter is definitely going to be too big, but I think it has the horsepower to handle it. It's just physically a little small. We might put more weights on the front. That might help a little bit. Uh, we'll cross all that when we get there. For now, let's go start getting in the field. All right, just gonna pull right up, line up, drop it down, and go to town. Here we go. The tractor's working great, man. I thought this was gonna be, you see, it's got the power. Believe it or not, it has the power. It's just a small little wheelbase and stuff, and uh, that is gonna be our biggest problem, but overall, I think we're gonna be fine with this. So I'm gonna keep rolling through these fields. We're gonna get them ripped up, ready to plant. And the unfortunate thing is we're gonna have rocks again. Woo! I gotta find another way to take care of weeds other than coming out here and ripping up the soil because I'm not dealing with rocks every single, every single time. Okay. Actually, I could put a front loader on this tractor. And if I did, then I could go around, pick rocks, drop them in piles, just pick piles up. Wouldn't be as bad. Still a little annoying, but eh, I could handle it. I'd prefer to have another tractor. Oh, gosh. We already, we just bought one tractor, called it a victory, and no more than five minutes later, we're like, man, I want another one. <laughs> Apply to the farmer. Always, always never, it's, there's never enough tractors, you know? You always think, oh, the next tractor, it's the last one I'll ever need. Then you get it, and you're like, sure, it would be nice to have one more tractor. <laughs> All right, we are moved on to our final field that we need to cultivate up. Coming up on the end of the day, 6.35 p.m. It's going to start getting darker and darker out as the sun continues to set. But our little Massey Ferguson tractor we bought, I'm not regretting it at all, actually, guys. This thing has been working beautifully. It's been driving fantastic, running so smooth. It turns really well. It's very comfortable inside, very nice in here. I mean, just an all-around really good tractor. I'm glad we bought it. Buying it for the uh, used price with the 135 horsepower engine in it, and then just upgrading the engine, swapping the engine out to with, it cost us $22,500 to do, but doing that, getting another 180 horsepower in here, I mean, now this thing just runs so smooth. It does our job. I think the only thing, maybe in a little bit, we could get some more weights on the front. But I might look into a front loader at some point as well. We'll see. But all is to say that it is going well on the farm so far this March. The only thing I'm a little worried about are the rocks in the field. But I have a feeling that I might be able to push these rocks back down. We just take a look at the stone. Nope, they're deep red. Dang it. So apparently using this gets the uh, stones pretty bad. Got to use something other than this cultivator. This digs too deep and we're, we're just getting a bunch of stones. And so it is what it is. We learned for this year and okay, we won't do it again next year. We'll get something different. But I guess for now, we'll just go as much as we can and uh, we'll have to pull these stones out of here too before we plant. Y'all know I love doing that. Can't wait to do that. So excited to do that. You can tell it's on my priority list because there's a pile sitting right there that I haven't touched yet. And just like that, we are done with our cultivator. We are going to have to come back out with a rock picker. And I'm going to hire a worker to do that since I hate doing it. And that means by morning time, we should be ready to rip that planter on out of the shed and get to going. Go ahead and return our leased cultivator feels so good to have nothing in our leased category and a tractor in our purchase. Oh, man. There's a planter for $32,000. It's our planter. Wait a minute. Hold on. Can I get a little money out of this? Ours is worth 61, but I don't really care about the condition or quality. Ours needs 2% repaired. This one for sale needs... I'm not seeing one. Are you seeing one? I could do this, though. I might do this. I'm out. Oh, okay, I'm going to do it. We can get our exact same planter. It's for sale. We can get a little bit of money. We're going to get an older model of our planter. Like, it's going to be more used. But I don't really care about that too much. The biggest issue is whether or not we will need to repair it. I mean, 
Ours is in fantastic condition. It's barely used. Well, the repair meter, I guess, is almost halfway. But perhaps this other one is not as good. I don't know. It could be a bit of a gamble, but I think it's a gamble worth taking. So I'm going to roll down here, swap our planters out, order a rock picker. We'll get this picked, and then we're going to be planting. Doesn't take near as long to get down the road anymore. Oh, Lord. Just making sure it's still there. Okay, go sell $61,000 out of it. And 32000 for this one, 63% off. I'm going to go ahead and buy for $32,000. we have got 34000 in the bank now. We had 5000 before all of this, so we just gained $30,000. I mean, kind of, sort of. We lost thirty grand in value in our planter, but our planter was going to lose value quickly anyways. Like, these things are bound to go down. Also, this one is a tad bit more used. Our planner was just above halfway. This one is just below halfway on that repair bar to give you a rough idea of how it's feeling. But that is not a big deal. For me, that's worth $30,000. I'll take what we got out of it and get back home to the ranch, farm, whatever we have. Hey, you guys, comment down below what you want to name our billion dollar uh, conquest here. What's our what's our name of our farm? Rock pickers twenty five thousand dollars. I shouldn't. I never want to. That's too much for a rock picker, Sonny. We just got all of the rocks out of every single one of our fields. We have thirty thousand dollars. Well, twenty nine thousand, and we are on our way to having a billion dollars eventually. Hopefully. <laughs> I originally predicted it would take over six years. It's year five. We're nowhere near it. Obviously, things aren't going very well. But we'll get there, and I have faith in that. I'm just looking around. Ooh, 13 grand for that? Hold on. How much is ours worth? 16? We could get a little money out of it. Probably not worth it. I was just looking around, getting a feel for where we needed to start today. We are going to get started by planting. Going to return our stone picker so we don't get charged for that anymore. And I want to back up and check on our greenhouse as well and we might as well get started planting now you'll see we've got a lot of weeds in our fields i'm a little annoyed about that because we just cleaned those up but i think they're small enough that when we go through with our planter we shouldn't really have an issue okay we're completely full of seed no fertilizer in here i'd love to have some of that and i don't seem to have any on the farm so i'm going to take a real quick trip down to the store pick up some fertilizer and we'll be right back out here to plant buy me a big old bag of that ball beep buy me two bags of that ball beep baby $3,600. I ain't spent it never so fast. Learned that one in English school. Well, we got her filled up. We've all got 100% seed, 100% fertilizer. We gotta make sure that seed is on soybeans. We're not planting corn. I don't have a corn header. And take a look at the map. You'll see all the stones more or less are taken care of in our fields. Fertilization, well, they're gonna need fertilized. They do got a weed problem, that's for sure. None of them need plowed. Dang, two of them need lime? Guess I better lime these suckers. I always need a lime. I need to just lime all my fields that way. I don't have to, but it's fine. We got more money now than last time we limed, so we might be able to do this. <laughs> I'm just going to park our planter right there so we can hook up to it in a little bit. And we're going to run back down to the shop, pick up a lime spreader, and we'll get that taken care of. Looks like our bees almost have a full pallet. Three more need to get loaded onto that. A full pallet is worth $1,112 max. We're actually pretty close to the high right now over a grand so hey if we could get some of that honey we could get a thousand bucks but really we might as well just stockpile that honey until we sell it at a large volume so that is what we will do there's nothing in here oh my goodness what a nice header that we need to buy i'm gonna look for my lime spreader forty-five thousand. don't want to spend that to buy so we're gonna go ahead and lease twenty three hundred dollars now that we've got it we've got to run right down the street to the lime station to fill up i'm gonna top it off and just run it through as many of our fields as i need but i'll catch in with you guys once we get back to the farm made it back we're here with a spreader if i remember correctly this does not work as well as our fertilizer spreader it's a little more incompetent and way more expensive but alas here we are we spent about seventeen hundred dollars on or maybe 16 something like that we spent that much on our uh, lime here and we're just gonna get started Turn on the lime spreader, keep pulling forward. We were a little bit close, but I'll call that good enough. And I know this field here, we've already done. You're probably yelling at me, Jake, this was not one of the two fields you needed to do. But I told you, I wanted to just run through my fields, get them done so they're on the same time, so they're on the same system, right? 
That way I'm not having to do these fields this year, those fields that year, and that one field the next year. Instead, I can more or less hit all of those fields consistently every few years. To be honest, the way this game works, base game, I might have to do this every single year. We'll see, uh, or every other year at least. It changes uh, depending on how you play. If you use precision farming, that changes a lot of things. I think an interesting challenge would be to do this again with precision farming. Another, I mean, there's so many different ways to do this. You could do a challenge where you try to do it um, by only livestock, or you could try doing it um, where you only buy used equipment. I don't know. Like, there's so many things. You could you could do it with mods. You could do it multiplayer. There are so many ways to run this game. So if you like any of those ideas or have ideas of your own, comment them down below as always, because we will eventually, once we get our billion dollars here, if you guys want, we can continue to try and earn billions of dollars in different ways in farm sim. And don't forget, while you're playing along, to comment down below what you're doing, your strategies, and what's working for you. Together, let's find out the best way to make money fast in farm sim. And if you do make videos on it, make sure you tag me on YouTube or in TikTok, because I do want to watch your guys' videos on this challenge. So we've used about 30% of our lime on these first two fields that did not even really need them. But now we only have two more fields. That one field is very small, won't take much. The other field is rather large, but it should be covered with our, uh, what, we, what we'll have left. So I don't think it's going to be any problem. And now all of our fields should be on the same stage. All right, moved on to the small little field that I like to call the shed shop. I'm going to keep rolling through lime and the rest of these. I'll catch in with you guys once we're done here and we're moving on to planting. Just like that, all of our fields have been completely limed. We're done with this Bertal spreader that we leased. We're going to go ahead and return it and we'll put our Massey Ferguson tractor with now over 25 hours on it back onto our planter and we can finally get to planting here. Now this is probably a little heavy for this. I can see my front tires are struggling here. Um, we definitely do need a little bit more weight in the front. I did fear this would be an issue. I knew it was likely to just because of its the tractor size, but we can put some more weights on the front and we'll do that in a moment. Let me go ahead and get through these first few fields. So we've got weeds in here, but I think we'll be able to clear them out with the planter enough. We're soybean set, ready to go. I think we're just going to keep on through. Try and keep her straight right here. Just run right down the field field and we'll see what we can do. Now the reason I want to get more weight on the front is because those tires, front tires, when they are light because our back end is so heavy, we're going to have trouble steering and we're also going to have trouble keeping it in a straight line because this, our steer tires are going to be a little light so we're not going to be as able to keep it straight. Do you get what I'm saying? We need to make sure we have enough weight on our drive or on our steer axles so that we can still steer is more or less what I'm saying. And it's handling it, but I, it's just a little lighter than I'd like it to be. Like when we go to pick it up here, it's gonna probably feel it when I stop, like if I do that fast. No, it really didn't. Ah, it, it, it can't be, I mean, ah, it is a little heavy, but I gotta be honest, it's handling it better than I thought. I'm still kind of proud. I, I'm trying to trash it, but it's actually doing a good job. Don't get too wide, Jake. Don't get too wide, Jake. Don't get too wide, Jake. Ooh, ah, he got too wide, ah. Dude, I knew it was coming, brother. I was like, oh, it's coming. I'm gonna mess up, just ha just a hair, son. Oh, I messed it up again. Uchi mama. Better not be messing it up again, again. There you go. Looks like everything's going according to plan. The weeds are small enough that our planter is actually ripping them on up. The field is pretty clean of rock. I mean, we might have a couple here and there. We've got the fertilizer going in along with our seed really smooth. Lime has been applied. The only thing we need to do is roll. And I've been leasing a roller. I'd like to buy one since it is a common step. However, we don't have the money to. Not unless one's for sale. We'll check that when we go to buy. But otherwise, we'll just lease one for this year. And next year, that can be our big purchase item. But we're starting to do good. We're getting established. And definitely one of the things, if you're starting your own farm and farming simulator, I would recommend it's okay to lease a lot of your equipment. But one thing you do not want to lease is your tractor. You do not want to lease your tractor. Purchase 
a good tractor, probably nice medium size. You could do a small like we are here if you find a deal, but you know, you're probably gonna want a good 180 horsepower at least. Okay, so if you can get yourself 180 horsepower, go ahead and just buy that. And if that means you have to lease your combine, it's not the end of the world, though those can get a little expensive. But it's, you know, something you use only once a year compared to the tractor. So don't be a fool like me. The tractor you use a lot. It should have been common sense to try and buy one. But, you know, it was harvest season and stuff, I think. And I went right to harvest. I was like, oh, combine, go ahead and buy it. <laughs> but hey, the fact that we're saying all this means this series is doing what it's supposed to be doing. Both you and I are learning the best ways to make a farm in farming simulator. So can't complain. Well, y'all, I'll tell you this. It's just a little bit slower planting. We go about 8 to 10 miles an hour, where previously we would go 12. And I think that's just due to our traction issues. We could probably fix that with some beefier tires, some more weight in the front. And that would really help that out. So we'll get down, we'll get around to uh, making those upgrades eventually. But for now, things are going well enough. I'm comfortable with it. We're going to finish this last field with planting, bring out a roller, get them all rolled, which won't take long. And then we've got our last season's crop to sell. There is something very satisfying about planting, I gotta be honest. If you enjoy planting in farm sim, hit the like button and subscribe. And if you enjoy harvesting, well, hit the like button and subscribe. <laughs> and just like that, we've got all of our fields planted for this year. It's funny, you can still see our old trim lines from when we sprayed our fields last year. You can still see the remnants of it this year. That is weird. But the fields are taken care of. Next thing for us to do is go make a little money. 